Hi guys, welcome to Quick and New. We have a lot of questions that we receive pertaining to the heat of cases. People are concerned because it's induction and kneeling that the base of the case gets too warm due to the flush anneal and due to the amount of heat generated by induction in kneeler. So today we're going to make a quick video using Tempilac just to indicate to you guys that at the bottom part, which is the severe or most critical part that you don't want to anneal because it gets too soft and you can get uh, head case separation and run into all sorts of problems. So we just want to bust the myth and to indicate to you guys today that although we use a lot of energy and heat on the necks and on the shoulders, it doesn't go all the way down to the end part making the case soft and unsafe. So we've been using 750 degrees Fahrenheit and also the seven, sorry, the 475 degrees Fahrenheit. One is white and the one is green. So we're gonna test the hulks and hopefully we can prove to you guys and all the skeptics out there to show them once and for all that although it's warm to the touch, the heat doesn't do anything because you need time and you need heat to anneal. And that doesn't occur at the bottom of the case. Let's give it a go. The machine is set up and ready for a 2 to 3 caliber, which most people will basically anneal. It's a all time favorite, so here goes the 2 to 3. I will just take it out and show you guys. We've done with the 2 to 3 case. So the green is the 750 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about also 5 millimeters under the shoulder. And if I rotate it, you can see it's a slightly a bit more. And that's on the 475 degrees Fahrenheit. So clearly you guys can see that the heat does not go below then more than two thirds on a two to three, which is a very small, um, not too high case, meaning penetration and heat is never down there. So I think this one we've busted. We'll move on to a 308 and on the far left, that will be a 270. Right, I've inserted the 308, did the necessary adjustments on height and here we go. I'm just gonna get this also out for you guys to have a look. Obviously now it's very hard to the touch as the heat will go down. I think anything about 60 odd degrees will obviously start burning your finger for the feel that you have. I'm just gonna turn it for you. So that on the green side, I think it's plus minus a six millimeter nil or heat transfer that occurred there on the green. And you can see on the whitish part, I'll say we just, just about halfway on the case length on the 308. And I think we can also conclude it's busted. There's no more heat to the bottom, no transfer. Most probably, I think the time on this on a kneel, I've didn't done the testing as per se to determine my time. I think we can lower the time a bit as well to make it a bit faster and give you a bit more accurate anneal. But this is just to show on the heat transfer that more than half of the case downwards, there's no heat above 475 degrees Fahrenheit or plus minus roughly 246 degrees Celsius that transpired. Now we're going to do the 270. Our 270 case set up for height. I've inserted it and we're quickly going to anneal it. Right, we're done. Just want to 
to get it as I say obviously it will be very warm to the touch now the bottom part not so much so I can just get it here there we are and I think you can see on the larger cases obviously more material what is the effect we get about a I'll say a six mil from the shoulder down before the green 750 Hulk juice is showing that it melted and if I turn to the white you can see it's like three quarters of the case never got that heat I've just annealed it and look gone the heat so I think it's we've proved more above and beyond that it's safe that there's no annealing that way it's stamp the amount of heat although it's warm to the touch the amount of heat and energy does not give you anneal there's a lot of annealing videos anneal starts proper annealing there's under annealing and all those things i'm not going to get into that technical stuff but for a proper anneal anything from 980 degrees fahrenheit on an induction annealer that's where you get the graining that starts to to melt and you restore it and you want to lock it in up until 1020 1025 degrees of fahrenheit so there's a lot of material and things on youtube that you guys can research but that's the temperatures that you need and as you can see although we've annealed this it never goes to 275 for most of our cases that we've done here today from small medium and large which most of the shooters will use you will see that it doesn't go to that temperatures just to conclude and this is the 223 cases on the left 750 on the right the 475 in the middle 308 and on the far left the 270 so as you all can see that at the end of the day we in most of the the cases three quarters of away the heat didn't even go above 475 degrees fahrenheit obviously we don't have other tempi lacks but i think it's just a good indication that we don't get that amount of heat that the myth people is advocating outside that it gets too warm and it's bad for the cases and all those type of ideas and things Here's a clear test on Tempilac that we don't reach those temperatures. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe when reloading and watch out for our next video.